All right, so I got my plastic figure and play set collector magazine number 35 from February 1995 with the Operation Moon Base Special. Or more accurately, just the Moon Base Special. And as the title implies, this is a somewhat dry, drier magazine for uh, collectors. Um, prior to the uh, 2000s, so we're lacking uh, digital color pictures and uh, plenty of, of text and a rundown of how Marx got from the er later 50s to the early 60s in terms of pushing their space toy sets forward, a uh, concise, accurate, and exhaustive rundown of every component in the set and how it relates to the set, how to put it together, how it works. There's our space capsule. Now I have one of these as well, one of those, although it's damaged. Uh, and I believe because of the reflective nature of these pictures that we're looking at, uh, earlier castings like from Tom Corbett or something as the ones from Moonbase were cast in yellow. Excellent reproduction of the instructions here in the middle. Uh, I guess you can pause to look them over if it's of interest to you. A little bit closer. Although you can score one of these easily. A magazine no longer in publish uh, publication, but uh, older copies not not difficult to score. And maybe what's more most interesting for me is that the they, they give a better picture of how the set was sort of dumbed down from Operation Moon Base to Moon Base, and then to the uh, Project Apollo Moon Landing set. Um, and then later, the uh, doesn't go so far as as to bring us into the 70s um, in, in terms of of, of uh, uh, providing images of the later sets. This is interesting. It's a blister pack issuing of the uh, hard to see because it's a black and white with such high contrast, but the. Project Moonbase uh, Mercury space capsule with fitted astronaut and then a group of the uh, spacemen which came with the set including the two hard suits so if you're buying those things they may not have been from an actual Operation Moonbase play set and because I scored mine separately from other components, I'm, I'm open to that suggestion. Although I'm, I'm pretty sure the capsule I got came from an original set. Uh, and there's no reason, I, I, I'm under the impression that the blister cards are even more rare than uh, the surviving uh, Operation Moon Base sets. There's some of the other previous ones. And, and I, I said I'd, I'd compare and contrast it to the Playset magazine. Uh, Issue number 84 from 2015, uh, which also did a spread on Operation Moonbase. And, you know, I, I hope this doesn't sound wrong. I certainly wouldn't accuse one of, of sourcing the other for the information, but it's pretty much the same information with the Playset Collector Magazine's presentation being a lot more dry, the Playset Magazine uh, edition being flavored by the story of the young child putting the set together uh, on Christmas morning with his dad and gorgeous eye-popping color photography um, and place set magazine is still in publication you can still get these and I'm gonna I'm gonna send them an email or something and ask them are there any known resources for uh, the tale of how Operation Moonbase was put together as a designer which is what I'm really looking for I'm uh, the, the description of it and the rundown and the instructions are awesome to have. Um, 
but I want to know the story behind how the prime mover was arrived. How was the moonship design arrived at? What maybe were the artists inspired by? There's one of the marvelous space tanks in, in the black and white instructions in the, the PPFC magazine. There's our prime mover down there. Um, and any fan of 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 the of the the place that, and it's it's mythology should definitely have these in their collection. I'm very pleased that both here again is our Morse code set and the mothership. I want one of those. Man, I'm about ready to buy a recasting just to have a form. Um, preferably one that came. There's, there's a couple of sellers have them with original set missiles. And extra missiles are always a good thing to have. So anyway, um, pretty much the same information between the two, different approaches, and perhaps a more concise story of how Moonbase became, Operation Moonbase became Moonbase and then Project Apollo, um, which were not financially successful for Mark's. Their cowboy sets were, their, their army man sets were, but I guess the cost that went into making Operation Moonbase was never really realized back by, by sales, although as far as I'm concerned, it was the coolest thing that they ever made. And uh, I'm, I'm saying goodbye to an auction tonight for, for a, an incomplete set. It's, it's, I don't have the means to uh, competitively bid on one yet. And I want the whole thing. And, you know, there's a reason to press my boss for a raise on my... Gallery stipend. Yeah, I want to get the Operation Moonbase thing. He'll be like, what?